Hi guys, my name is Candice, also good by Confident Candy. If you're new here, thank you for choosing me to watch. If you are subscribed, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of making your health a priority. If you'd like to know more, keep watching. What is considered healthy? To me, health means having a consistent and balanced diet. But that doesn't mean that you can't eat the foods that you enjoy, but in moderation, of course. It is essential to have balanced meals, a good portion of fats, sugars and proteins, you know the rest. It is important to not be so strict and hard on yourself, but to treat yourself once in a while without overdoing it. Not every day is a cheat day. And that, and to me being healthy also means having a healthy weight. Now let me get into it. If you'd like to check your weight, I would definitely recommend using a BMI just to see how far off you are from your ideal weight at your particular height obviously there's different factors to consider like genetics eating sleeping patterns and stuff like that body mass index is calculated by your weight and your height it is used to identify a healthy weight now according to my bmi i'm overweight and i eat pretty well i go to the gym i'm quite active so i wouldn't say i'm overweight but the thing about the bmi is that it does not account for muscle so the thing is like relying on the scale alone i wouldn't say that's the best attitude i also want to make sure that i reiterate that you need to feel good in your body and feeling good means like not feeling out of breath when you walk up the stairs or your joints are not hurting because you've got this extra weight on it you know aside from eating healthy how else can we check that our body is healthy Think to yourself, are you experiencing discomfort from doing basic things such as walking up the stairs or bending your knees? You want to make sure that you're in as little pain as possible in order to enhance the quality of your life. Now I've talked about external, I'm going to share my story. When I was at the age of around 14, 15, after I started my period, I started getting extreme cramps regardless if I was on my period or not. I don't know how to explain it other than like a stabbing pain in your uterus and I went to the doctor about it and he told me you know it's growing pains I don't even know what that means but I was like okay cool I experienced the pain for a couple of years after that they told me don't worry about it take some antibiotics no they didn't even say antibiotics they said take paracetamol and I'm kind of person like I don't like to take paracetamol if I can avoid it I like to you know fight through the pain but nothing was really working i was still in tremendous amount of pain it was extreme to the point where i had to literally stop what i was doing and bend down and then the pain would go like a contraction but i wasn't pregnant so i was experiencing that from for a while and then i moved to birmingham at the age of 18 for uni and i decided i'm gonna transfer my gp like if the gps are just dismissing me my symptoms in london maybe i have a better chance in birmingham so I thought. So I went back to the doctors and I explained my symptoms. And one thing that I did was that I had to really push and be like, listen, I've had this pain for years. Can you just refer me to a specialist to see if there's anything further that needs to be done? I was given cocodamol, which wasn't the best idea. Cocodamol made me extremely jazzy. And at the time I was still drinking. So that's not a good idea don't do that for the hundredth time i went back to the doctor i was like listen the cocodamol is not for me it is impacting university it's impacting life like you guys need to refer me to a specialist and this time i took my mum so they you know she can vouch on my behalf as well because they were not taking me seriously at all but eventually i was offered a pap smear which you're supposed to get once you're over the age of 21 i think i was 18 or 19 at the time i was not looking forward to that that thing was horrible but they did the pap smear and it turns out that i had a fibroid and a cyst about three to four centimeters wide i think big three to whatever it was on my ovary so they prescribed me mini pill to reduce the size and i've had ultrasounds i've had transvaginal sounds <laughs> it's a lot um but thankfully the cyst has reduced in size but it took me what eight years seven eight years to finally get an answer so it was a can i even do my maths maybe like five six years to get an answer but to me that's too long just because of my age and just because i'm fit and healthy doesn't mean that 
my pain isn't relevant and it needs to be looked into further something like this um by demi from love island i will link the video below but when she said what she said i'm just gonna let you guys watch the video because she found lumps at the back of her throat she kept going to the doctors and they were just dismissing her dismissing her you're too young for you know a screening of cervical cancer and just watch the video it it made me mad all over again but if you do believe that you are experiencing symptoms that you need to look into berber when you do call the doctor you want to make sure that you made a note of when your symptoms started that you describe the symptoms and how it's impacting your life what worked and what didn't work for the pain and what outcome would you like would you like to be referred to a specialist because sometimes you've got to push for it thank you so much for watching this video it was it's one that needs to be talked about more and i don't like how doctors dismiss young people because you know they're young they're fit and healthy if they believe that something is wrong with them take it seriously take care and i'll see you soon